We're at the Gospel of Luke, and we're at chapter 23, verses 48 and 49. Let's read. And the whole crowd who came together to that site, seeing what had been done, beat their breasts and returned. But all his acquaintances and the women who followed him from Galilee stood at a distance, watching these things. So Jesus, you might have noticed the last few mornings, we walk through the text, coming up to this spot, passing through the passage, and we've come through the conversations between Jesus and the thieves on the cross, and finally, Jesus, who dies on the cross, and now we're in the after space there, and Jesus is died, he's hanging from the cross, his body's hanging there, and he's dead. So, here are the people, though. There was a crowd there. Remember that at different times, the rulers were there laughing and sneering and and, and saying, you know, hey, if you're the Son of God, hey, come down from there, prove it to us. All those kind of devil-inspired, demonic uh, temptations, tests to Jesus, just to give him, he, he could have come down. He could have called to the Father in a moment. The angels could have come and let him down. Or he could have received back his divine power and come down from the cross. And he could have said, let me teach you something. <laughs> but he didn't do that. And so here we have the, the, the now the, the, the camera angle zooms out, so to speak. And here's the crowd. It's very quiet. There's weeping, there's people watching, and they have seen Jesus. There he hangs, not breathing. His body, he's dead. He's hanging there. His body's hanging from the cross. And it's kind of that stunned moment after, after something giant has happened, something tragic and momentous. They're all watching. They cannot believe what they have seen happen. And then there's us. We didn't see it. We read about it in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and we read some of it in John. But we weren't there. And by faith, we believe that, that God revealed to these inspired Bible writers what happened and that they, they wrote it out just by the leading of the Holy Spirit in their own mind as well, their own individuality. And they wrote it out for us. And we, by imagination, we kind of look at that. But it's truth. We're looking here at historical facts that happen and they're simply recorded for us. And so this is what we get to see. This was preserved for us for 2,000 years. So you could think about it today. And I could think about it today. And so all these people are watching and wondering what comes next. Well, we're not done with the Gospel of Luke. We've got a little bit more here and we'll be done with the Gospel. But there are momentous things coming next. And God is good. and He wants to give you and I life. And so don't, uh, don't like lose your attention span. Like don't go goldfish on Jesus now, right? Well, stay watching and see what happens next because this isn't over. The devils would just love for it to be over at this point. But even the devils aren't cheering right now when you will soon see why. We'll soon see why. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, as we look out into our world, every kind of chaos and destruction seems to be happening. We seem to be at a hinge point in history, and everything seems to be going way in the wrong direction. And yet, Lord, we look to Jesus. We know he gave his life for us, and we know that you have a plan. You have a plan for this adventure. You're going to bring good out of evil, and through the death of Jesus, you're going to bring many sons and daughters to holiness. Now, Lord, do that for us in our lives. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Our request in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, friend, you and I have the privilege today, and we're down near kind of one of that time, another time when there's we're going to be kind of watching and crazy stuff's going to happen, and we'll be at the end. Literal second coming of Jesus isn't far, but we're in a time of, of uh, amazing, momentous things, too. And we get to live for Jesus in this time. We are so blessed. May God bless you today.